was locked up in jail. He was locked up in jail, but no wrong did he do. Unless it is wrong to have horns and go moo. <laughs> to have horns and go moo might make you seem neat. But not if your father is King Minus of Crete. <laughs> King Minus of Crete said, as a Greek he'll be classified. The Queen disagreed, but he would not be pacified. No, he would not be pacified. And he said to the Queen, He's half human, half sirloin. Don't even tell me where you've been. <laughs> this monster in miniature isn't really mine at all. <laughs> From a safe distance, let's monitor the beast called the Minotaur. I know where to put him, where his presence won't need us, in that nifty new dungeon designed by Daedalus. <laughs> designed by Daedalus, the labyrinth was amazing. A maze of passages you could be lost for days in. You could be lost for days in the maze, or for years. <coughs> Out of sight, the Minotaur became the object of fears. That monster, the Minotaur, is a merciless man-eater. Be a good child this minute, or you'll be on his menu too. The children of Athens were chosen by lot to be shipped off to Crete to that terrible spot. They were thrown in the labyrinth. They were thrown in the labyrinth to face the dread beast. It was thought that the Minotaur would make them his beast. And if you listen to most people, they say that's what he did. That the Minotaur found all those children who hid in the labyrinth's passages and tore them to pieces. Until he was slain by a hero called Theseus. <laughs> but the, Greek likes, the Greeks like their stories. I'll tell you the truth that the Minotaur wasn't a devourer of youth. No, he didn't eat children. He preferred to graze on the dark-loving mushrooms that grew in the maze. The children who went there all perished from fright. Just one glimpse at the mi Minotaur, and they died at the sight. But Theseus was different. He knew not to judge from what others had told him, from rumor and grudge. While the others had fear, young Theseus had me. But he did have some wool given to him by Princess Ariadne. When Theseus saw this half boy, half bull, the Minotaur licked him and sniffed at his wool. He didn't seem fearsome in any way. The beast just looked lonely and eager to play. <laughs> <laughs>